Hello, my name is Austin Helms. I'm here today with Randy Short, Tyler Hagen, and Taylor Beck. Waterless Buddies is a wireless car detailing company that provides customers with a wash while you do anything service. We're here today to not only revolutionize where you get your car detailed, but how you get your car detailed. As you might be aware, the current car wash industry consists of automated car wash bays, uh, professional detailers, and maybe on a warm Saturday afternoon, you get out in your plaid shorts and detail your own car. Whatever the chance may be, all of these processes can be time intensive and can be quite expensive. And did I mention that an average car wash uses 45 gallons of water? 45! With the current government regulations, the current car wash industry is not sustainable. So we at Buddies are creating the most affordable and convenient car detail. And so as you can see here, Tyler and Taylor have a hood that we brought in. Uh, and actually a funny story behind the hood, we'll tell that after the presentation if you'd like to hear it. Uh, and so what happens is uh, we're all allowed to do this waterless wash while you can do anything because of this product. You spray the product on the vehicle. There's a special chemical inside the product. It's a natural carnauba, and it actually lifts the dirt from the surface of the vehicle, allowing one of our buddies to safely remove the product with a microfiber towel. This service also includes the shining of the tires, wheels, and the cleaning of the windows, and it takes up to 15 minutes. During our test market, we only did exterior detailing. However, we are looking into doing interior and exterior, and that would take between 20 to 30 minutes. And so for just a second, I kind of want to jump across the pond, I guess you could say, and tell you why we were inspired to start this company. A company called Tesco, you're probably very familiar with, uh, has partnered with a company called Waves. Waves is a car washing company that provides a wash while you shop service at 190 Tesco's. 190. What happens is you pull in the back of the parking lot, they have three or four large fixed structures, you park your car, you go shop, they, do a, they wash your car while you're shopping, you come out and your car is sparkling clean. I was amazed by this service when I was in the UK this past summer and did a lot of research to check out their business model. And I found out that some of their locations make up to 150,000 American dollars. With that being said, I got really excited and took a real deep dive into the competition here in the United States. We do realize that there are various types of competition here in the U.S., but two main. One being something like Autobell. Autobell is based in the Carolinas and is the number two car wash in the U.S. What happens is uh, it's a fixed structure. You go through an automated car wash phase and you can get a number of different services. You have like high school students outside that would actually be drying off your car. However, this does not give the customer the utmost convenience. The second type of car wash is a uh, kind of a new car wash in the industry. It's called White. Wipe is a mobile waterless car wash company, and what they do is they actually focus on higher end cars, and so they go to your location. Um, and as from their Facebook, from their Facebook, we actually found that they were targeting the high end by looking at their Lamborghinis and Ferrari pictures they were posting. So looking at our business model, we are we are providing the most affordable and convenient car detailer. And in the international car wash survey, 74% of the Recipients said they would condense an errand trip to one location if they could do more than one thing. With that being said, we kind of want to show you how we started and why we're starting this company. So in August of 2014, I literally walked across the dorm room in Morrison at UNC Chapel Hill and pitched this idea to Randy, and off we went. In four short months, we went from ideation to implementation, where we launched a one-week test market at the Southern Season in Chapel Hill. Southern Season is really like a Whole Foods. You add in a restaurant and a cooking school to the back end. At Southern Season, we detailed 53 cars in 18 hours, grossing over $900. During that first test market, we really wanted to set a precedent for the company. And we really wanted to give back to the communities that surrounded us. So we donated $375 to Southern Season's Share the Food Foundation. But we didn't stop there. We actually partnered with Farmer Food Share, which partners with farmers markets across the area and they actually buy back food from farmers at the end of the day. We launched two more test markets at, at those farmers markets, one on Valentine's Day, and might I add that it was 27 degrees, but hey, we're motivated buddies. Uh, and so we were really happy to be there and actually it was a great, a great turnout. The second test market was in mid-March. Lastly, just to give you an all sum of what we have done through our three test markets, we've detailed 89 cars, grossing over $1,500, and we've given back more than $500 to these nonprofits and charities. And so we've taken our excitement and what we've learned through our test markets and we have uh, turned that into the Venture Challenge round. We competed in two university challenges 
and also one in Charlotte and Atlanta. And we're super excited to be here in Los Angeles. And I'll kind of talk more about um, what we see in the future for Buddies. And so Randy's going to, I'm going to push more on the retail side, and Randy's going to talk more about our mobile detailing. So as you can see here, this is actually the Southern Season parking lot. And we were located, what we're going to be doing is partnering with Madison Marquette. Madison Marquette is a property owning company, and they own properties from North Carolina to here in Los Angeles. And what happens is we would lease out some spots. On those spots, we'd have about, I guess you could say, five, and we would have a mobile building on those lots, really small building, that would hold everything from washer, dryer, our supplies, signs, and everything. So during the test market, we actually had customers who would park, let us know they wanted their car wash, and they would, they would be able to see us by, as you can see, these bright yellow shirts we have on here, and also by a, sign, a mobile sign. We actually had people from the highway that could see us uh, because of our bright yellow radiant shirts, I guess you could say, and people would actually come over from a automatic car wash that was uh, at this gas, gas station on the lot. Uh, so that being said, you get out of your car, you go shop, uh, you pay us before or after the service, and then you're a happy customer. During our test market, we found that more than 90% of the, the people that we interviewed gave us a five out of five rating. So looking more into our expansion, I mentioned most of these on the board, Madison Marquette, Southern Season, and Farmer Food Share. However, we've also been in contact with Target and working with a representative in the Durham area to actually launch a test market in the coming months and uh, looking into late summer, early fall. And so through the California Dreaming Competition, we hope to gain insightful connections and hopeful funding to take this dorm room dream into a reality. So as also mentioned, we plan on revolutionizing the car wash industry in a big way. So the current car wash industry is archaic and basically hasn't changed for centuries. You take your car to ye old car wash and they dump some water in your car. But by leveraging this waterless product and modern technology, we want to take the car wash industry into the 21st century. So we've already began building out our mobile website that will facilitate every step of the process that Austin just mentioned. So as Austin mentioned, our, basic, our business model is someone comes to the parking lot, they want their car washed, so we wash their car while they're inside shopping, and they come out and their car is clean. So through our mobile website, customers will be able to find the nearest uh, retail location that we're located at, they'll be able to schedule a wash, they'll be alerted when their car is ready, and they can pay for the service all through the website. So by logging in and registering their information, a customer will be able to simply and conveniently uh, schedule a wash anytime they need. Um, so and if on our website, they'll be able to see which locations they're at, and they'll be able to get directions and a map to that location. So if someone needs to schedule a wash, they can just tell us that they'll be at Southern Season or Whole Foods from 11 to 11.30, and we can wash their car while they're inside shopping. When they're at, whenever their car is ready, we'll send them an alert on their phone, just letting them know that their car is ready to be picked up whenever they're ready. And also, to increase customer engagement and customer retention, we can send push notifications to customers. If it's been a few weeks and someone has got their car washed, we can send them a notification on their phone telling them, hey, stop by Whole Foods or Southern Season to get your car washed again. So if someone doesn't have a smartphone or they don't want to use our mobile website, that's completely fine. We can use the same business model that we've been using at our test markets. But we will build in incentives into our website to encourage customers to use the site. So if someone gets, their, or gets 10 car washes to the website, their 11th car wash will be free and things like that. So not only does building out this website uh, facilitate every step of our current business model, but we think that it opens the door for an even bigger market potential. So by using our retail locations as a beachhead, we'll serve a 20 mile radius where people can get their car washed doing anything. So if someone wants to get their car washed while they're at their house, at their office, at a restaurant, at the dentist, anywhere, they can do that through our website. It's almost as if Uber meets car washing. So all they have to do is get on the site and tell, them, tell us what location they're at, and how long they'll be there, and we'll send one of our workers from our retail location to go wash that car. So we see even more potential partnerships that come from building out our mobile website. We've been talking with the UNC Rams Club, which is a booster club for uh, the school, about working at football games. So at UNC football games, there are 60,000 fans, which means thousands of cars. UNC just completed a 900 spot parking deck, just a little bit from the stadium. So we could, make, we could be washing thousands of cars and making thousands of dollars every single Saturday. We could also scale this to different uh, stadiums pretty much anywhere in the country. We also think that we can be a marketing ambassador for our retail partners. So if, um, one of the, if someone is on our site scheduling the wash, we can tell them the deals of the day at our retail location. We also think that we can uh, work with different apps where people say they're going to be at a certain location for a certain amount of time. So if someone makes a dinner reservation on open table, we can go wash their car at that restaurant while they're eating dinner. And finally, there's a company in, call, in uh, New York City called Valet Anywhere, 
where someone comes pick up, they come and pick up your car, they park it at a parking garage for the day, and they drop off your car to you at the end of the day. So we think that these are all potential partnerships for us if we build out our mobile website. So I know that we have some ambitious ideas, but they're all grounded in solid financials. So on a per watch basis, we'll charge $20, which is in line with the industry average in California, and we'll have a contribution of $12.40 per wash. So because we're waterless, our fixed costs are essentially zero, and um, our only costs are supplies and labor. Supplies is only 60 cents a wash, and labor assumes two hourly workers making $12 an hour plus tips. So we'll also have a third worker at every location, and that'll be the manager, who in addition to washing cars, will handle things like the staffing, the inventory, the scheduling, and the website side of the work. So that manager will make $36,000 a year. So we think that we can wash six cars an hour given this labor model, and we think that's a realistic number based on our, uh, based on our test market results. So that brings us to 12,000 car washes a year. We got to that number by assuming six cars an hour, we're operating 40 hours a week, and 50 weeks a year. So given this low cost structure, we have a gross profit margin of 62%, whereas the industry average is only 45%. So in year one, we'll uh, we will have one permanent location that will generate $240,000 of revenue. And year one will operate at a small loss, and that's because um, the total, total expenses, which include things like insurance, marketing, and sales, also includes $50,000 to build out the mobile website that we've been talking about. So, but we have an aggressive uh, growth strategy for year two, where we'll have 10 permanent locations that will generate $2.4 million of revenue and make more than $700,000 of net income. In year three, we'll have 50 locations that will generate $12 million of revenue and more than $3.6 million of net income. But in order to achieve these goals, we're going to need some funding. So we're seeking $100,000, half of which will go toward building out the mobile website that we've been talking about. And the rest of the money will go towards uh, inventory and working capital to begin operating at our first location. So we're still trying to enter the market, but in terms of an exit strategy, we think that Sweeps is a natural acquirer. And we also have considered a franchise model. So Sweeps is a North Carolina-based company that hires college-age students to do different tasks that people need. So if someone needs to get their groceries, they want to run some errands or get their house clean, they can hire a college-age student to do that for them through Sweeps. So because Buddies is also focused on convenience and plans on hiring college-age students, we think that Sweeps is a natural acquirer. So I've talked a lot about how much money this idea can make, but at Buddies, we want to do more than make money and take dirt off cars. So at one of our company meetings, we made a list of goals. And as you can see, we want to create a company that drives our personal growth, create a company that our employees actually want to work for, and be a company that enriches the communities that we work in. We've already started on this social goal by giving more than $500 to, lo to local charities during our three test markets. In addition to that, we plan on creating a scholarship program where we're paid for some of our workers' college if they've been with us for a certain extended period of time. And finally, we plan on donating one gallon of water for every car that we wash. So not only do we believe in and have proven out this waterless and wash while you shop concept, but we truly believe that we're the team to deliver on this idea. Austin is our chief executive buddy, and he started his first car wash company at age 12. I'm a finance guy, and there are a few things I love more than digging into some financial spreadsheets. The rest of our team has education and experience in growth marketing and, er, growth marketing and operations. We also have a, t um, a team of advisors from the UNC community. Jim Kitchen is a serial entrepreneur and adjunct professor. John Battle has started more than 12 companies. And Dina Mills is the associate director of the UNC Entrepreneurship Program. So as you can see, we have a kick-ass idea and a talented and good-looking team. So if you want to become our buddy, all you got to do is throw us some money. So thank you, and we'll take any questions.